Police call it organized retail crime. Giant crime rings with foot soldiers, fences that sell the loot, and bosses like Rico Vendetti, profiled on American Greed, whose operations stole from big box retailers and sold the goods online. But before he got caught, Vendetti sold around $700,000 worth of stolen retail merchandise. You might think a shoplifting ring like Vendetti's would go after the big ticket, high priced items. But the most trafficked stolen goods, where the real money is, might surprise you. Vendetti's gang swiped teeth whitening strips, razors, and acid reflux medication. Health and beauty aids are big targets. Why? People want them. They're high, they're high value and easy uh, small items to take. Bob Maraca is the vice president of loss prevention at the National Retail Federation. Other targets include cosmetics and baby formula, and that can be dangerous. They have expiration dates, so if those things are not stored properly, they can end up being a health hazard. To protect yourself, check the package. Mismatched stickers and scratched off serial numbers are telltale signs. So are unusually low prices. Shoplifting rings can afford to sell items cheap because they didn't spend money manufacturing them. But in the end, we all pay the price. Scott Cohn, CNBC's American Greed. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.